What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Uh, today I'm already on the river. I just beached my kayak. Literally in the same spot that I beached my kayak on fishing opener. <laughs> but what's crazy is not only is the water 15 degrees warmer, but it's an extra four feet lower, maybe even five. And we're gonna pick this set of rapids apart with the four weight and some sweet little bugger jigs and whatnot and see what we find. So check it out. So check this out, because this is what our little bugger jig is meant to imitate. One, two, three, four, five, six, one right there, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're all over the place. Got my Mojo Trout four weight, eight foot four weight, and I got one of our bugger jigs rigged up. Before I fish them, I'm just gonna get them wet. And then I'm gonna rub that water through there and get all the air out of the material. But you can see how that looks. Tail's a little bit longer, but you can see how that same color, same size for the body and the abdomen, a little bit longer on the tail, but that right there is our stonefly. And we're in the middle of a set of rapids on a warm water river with channel cats and walleyes and smallmouth. Yeah, big old stoneflies, like a size six big stonefly. So our bugger jig that I'm gonna fish on the four weight is picture perfect for that. And right now, with the freaking low water, we have access to all of this structure where those stoneflies are hanging out in this nice oxygenated current. And I have, for the past three years, known about these and have never once fished anything to imitate them because I just chuck big meat and that's what I do. But today we're gonna downsize on the four weight, pick apart this section of river with the bugger jig and see what the heck's eating them. Wish me luck. Missed the take because I was reeling her up. I'm getting ready to move on. Oh man, blew that opportunity. I just made a bomb cast past that rock and was just reeling it in because I was getting ready to move and he came out and nailed it. I'm gonna fish the foam, see what we get. Just got a ripping back eddy right here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It wasn't actually supposed to be anything in there. <laughs> if I promise to let you go, do you promise to stop your squirming? There you go, bud. Man, these fish are spunky. Bugger jig in the foam. Go on, get out of here. Big old dragonfly. Just another thing that that bugger jig looks like. Big old dragonfly. And so every time I bump a rock, I can see my fly line drag. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And what's cool is those are opportunities to mentally strip set to use your left hand every time that line twitches and your fishy, you know, your fish sense goes off, your little spidey sense that you gotta bite, use your left hand to get it out. And when that becomes the, the predominant reaction, then you're setting yourself up for a, a strip set every single time you get a bump like that. I was literally just walking. There he is! And I spooked a bass off these shallows and he went into this hole. <laughs> Bud, that was the coolest thing. You shouldn't have showed yourself, man. I never would have known you were there. There you go, Bud. Smalley. <clears throat> so I've never been able to fish way up here. Never been able to cross the river. And then when the river was high last time, I wasn't able to get up this far. And this whole bank is weightable. And so I'm just cruising the bank. I spooked that fish, or I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he's cruising the shallows. But I see him come flying down the river. Boom, right past us, and there's a big little four-foot hole right here. Just a little hole, and he just whips around in there. And I took that little bugger jig, flicked it in front of his face, and on the third strip, he ate it. <laughs> I'm standing right here. <laughs> well, I don't have the right imitation, but look at all these caddis, man. They're just going bonkers. Oh, you see these fish rising over here? What the heck is going on, man? If only my kayak wasn't half a mile away right now. Got fish out here. 
feeding on caddises. And we're going to hit them in the face with a bugger jig. I got my cell phone in my pocket here. <laughs> There's a the fish. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't be out here sipping caddises, man. I see what you're doing. I came for you, man. Small mouth eating dry flies. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Huh? Ashamed. Last I checked, you guys were piscivores and proper ones at that. Catch you guys on pike and musky flies, man. There you go, man. Thanks for playing. Do you see that fish? He's right here. Smallmouth is hanging on that left back rock. How crazy cool is that? You'd never know he was there. Tiny little bass right there. He's looking right at us. He's like, what? What? I just broke off my bugger jig on a rock, and I did not bring any with me. They're literally back at the kayak. I didn't know I was going to walk this far. There's a smallie right there. All right, back at the kayak. Re-rigged. Time to find some new water. That same hole I caught that smallmouth out of on opener. Looks quite a bit different, doesn't it? Got back in the kayak, tied up on a new jig. Did some exploring on some of these exposed sandbars and whatnot, but thought it best to come back to the bank here. No way, man. Check out this smallie. <laughs> so when I tied up this little feather craw, I totally forgot to do a little intro. So I just did one. Um, I broke off on my bugger jig. But well, we're going to put on this little feather craw to finish out the day and we'll see how she goes. Mini feather craw. man is that a little guy you are cruising dude yeah you like that little crayfish pattern don't you need to do some bushwhacking i want to get to that next set of rapids on this side and pick it apart with this little crawfish there's a bass a decent sized one right on the edge of that rock but he's like 20 feet away from me and he's looking right at me. There, now he's turning. Now he's turning. He's swimming away. There he is! There he is! There he is! Oh! No! No, 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 no! Man, I'd stay here for a while if I thought he'd eat again. It's like an 18 inch smallmouth sitting on the edge of that rock, and I could see him. And then you just poke it out in front of him with a four weight and a little crawfish and he inhales the thing and you totally just try to horse him in and overplay it. That was a dumb idea, man. All right, well, I'm not gonna horse you this time because I just learned that mistake. Ah, you're not that big. If I lose you, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm not losing another freaking hog on the four-way. Thing will break your heart. A little feather craw. Couldn't say no, huh, bud? Well, unfortunately, I broke off my feather craw. <laughs> you would think after the whole bugger jig incident and having to hike all the way back to the kayak, I would have learned my lesson, but I didn't. Uh, and basically, I'm just going to jump in the kayak, maybe fan cast a little bit, put on a little bait fish pattern, the pheasant rump bait fish probably, and see what happens. Oh, come on, 
wind. Pheasant rump bait fish. Small mile. Man, that's a belly. Look at that belly. He's just a toad, man. Just a toad. Ate that thing on like the second strip off the bank. a massive smallmouth. I, I don't I forget what happened. I think I thought my fly was fouled, fouled. So I just like brought it in super, super quick and the smallie chased it really hard. Freaking inhaled the thing and spit it right back out before I could do anything. And then my fly was fouled because he sucked it in and spit the thing out. She might be a little big for the four weight, but we're going to give a geezer, a seasoned geezer. Rigged up, and I'm gonna go catch that fish. You ain't getting away that easy, man. I know where you live. I got your address, and I'm gonna come knocking. So I just beached the kayak up on that shelf and tossed the geezer in that little hole back here on the back side. You're not the one I wanted, bud. Smally, smally, smally. On the geezer. Came out of that little hole right there. But I want the big brother that tried to eat the pheasant rump bait fish. All right. So I'm gonna call it a day. I got a bonus fish, because I beached the kayak right there, which was pretty cool, but I couldn't get this guy to eat again, which is driving me nuts. We'll have to come back. I don't know, maybe next week. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Check out that bugger jig, and the feather craw, the pheasant rum bait fish, and the geezer. <laughs> Four weight magic, man. Thanks for watching.